So let's talk a little bit about the um, economic factors in New Zealand. How is the labor market there for construction? Um, I think it's quite similar to a lot of places around the world. We don't have enough people. And, um, and this is one of the biggest challenges. And uh, it seems to be the default answer is that we need to train more people and get them to the industry. And this, if this solution worked 30 or 40 years ago, we'll not be having this discussion now. But this seems to be the default answer everywhere in the world. And you end up with either migrant labor or you end up with a big surge of uh, uh, untrained, unqualified, or, under, or, or unexperienced workforce that actually causes a lot more damage than, than benefit. And, and the, the solution is not just train people uh, or import people, because in Dubai, the majority of the workforce were migrant labor. And right now, you will see that Dubai and Saudi Arabia and the GCC overall are the ones that are investing the most in 3D printing because they know that this is not a sustainable model with migrant labor because migrant labor come in regardless of where they are. They need food, they need shelter, they need medical service, and they're also not there for their family. So either they want to bring their family or continuously have, they have to travel back and forth. And um, it's quite obvious uh, that's not sustainable and COVID made it even worse because the closing the borders down, the migrant labor is either they're stuck in one end and they either cannot go to the family or they cannot go to the countries that they are going to work in. So it's quite obvious that uh, we need to, we need something else to do the heavy lifting rather than human resources.